Commissioner Redding, Monsieur le Ministre Besson, parliamentary colleagues, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's really a great pleasure to welcome you here today to the European Parliament for what I believe is the first major conference to be organized on our premises by the European Internet Foundation. I am sorry not to be able to greet you in person myself, but as a founder member of the EIF back in the year 2000, I very much wanted to be able to speak to you via this video message this afternoon and to wish you every success for today's important event. You will have come to this meeting because of your interest in and your commitment to change. You understand more than most that we are witnessing a worldwide revolution in digital communication technology. This change is not some dull technical phenomenon. Quite the reverse, it is one of the defining features of our age with major economic, social and political effects. The Internet has already had a huge impact on us all, whether we fully realize it or not. As workers, as consumers, as voters, as citizens, we are leading lives heavily shaped by the effects of digital technology. And this impact can only grow in coming years. So it's vitally important that we engage in serious thinking about the causes, the consequences and the potential of this striking change in our global culture. The European Internet Foundation is engaged in exactly this work. It is a non-partisan forum for discussing the key issues and choices that we face as policy policymakers here in the European Union as a result of the global digital revolution. Led by its governing board of 12 members of the European Parliament, the Foundation has already proved itself a unique crossroads for a lively debate about some very important questions. Issues like how we use the net to increase competitivity, how we protect privacy, how we spread the benefits to those without access, and how we strike the right balance between freedom and responsibility and the impact of the net on society today. The potential of the Internet is huge in e-government, in education, in smart medicine, even in election campaigning. The challenge is to make sure that the impact of the net is firmly for the good. In an important new project, the European Internet Foundation is now attempting to analyze what our digital world may look like in 2025. The EIF study will paint a fascinating picture of our interconnected future and it can help provide precisely the longer term perspective that both legislators and officials need in politics and government as we grapple with the big issues. The timing of your initiative is perfect. We have the European Parliament elections coming up next June and the new reflection group set up recently by the European Council is about to start work. The EIF report on 2025 should be published just as the new Parliament meets next autumn and will offer valuable query of ideas and new thinking on which I and my colleagues can draw. Madam Chairman, I hope these very brief remarks help put in the perspective the importance I attach to the leadership role which the European Internet Foundation can play on this important issue of public policy. You are to be congratulated and encouraged in your work and I am delighted to have had the first opportunity to do both as you start your conference today.